The one thing I love about environmental portraits is capturing people in their work environment or their play environment. You know, capturing the people where they feel most comfortable. That gives a little bit of insight into who the person is and what they do. Everybody has a story, we just need to listen to them. So when I started working with my producer and started talking about concepts about what we wanted to shoot and who we wanted to actually work with, the Waterloo Central Railway just stood out. As people are working on a project or working for an organization or working for an NGO, we see what's happening on the forefront of it, but we never see the behind the scenes. So I wanted to bring a little bit of life to the actual people and characters that are actually working in the railway. Definitely one of the challenges on this shoot, as well as a lot of the shoots that I go to on location, is you know working in different environments. I knew the situation was going to be gritty. I knew it was going to be grimy. You know, there's lots of oil, dust, coal all over the place. So what better camera system to bring to this situation than the Fujifilm GFX 50S coupled with the 100 to 200 millimeter f5.6 lens. The weather sealing on the lens itself really lent its capabilities to this. So the 100 to 200 focal length on the GFX is an amazing focal length for portraits, especially environmental portraits in this situation where I have lots of room to go around. Utilizing this lens with the optical image stabilization also allow me to hand hold the camera in situations which I would normally have to be on a tripod. The other really nice thing about it is it's a constant aperture lens. So the f5.6 might seem that it'll give you a lot of depth of field, but when you're at that 100 to 200 millimeter focal length on a medium format camera, it gave me enough depth of field to do a really good portrait, but still allowed the background to blur out. You know, I definitely love doing a single environmental portrait where the one main shot tells the story about the person. But with that, I always love to do little detail accent shots. So having this lens, we could actually go in and shoot those detail shots of, you know, for example, the coal, or we could go in and shoot where the grinder is actually working and all these detail shots as well as the pulled back shots. So without having to switch lenses, I could do this very quickly. Keeping that record of history of what happened now and hopefully, you know, 100 years, 200 years, 300 years down the road, people might look back at the photos and say, hey, that was a very unique and interesting way that they were working. It's one of the things that I want to actually keep doing through my career and through all my uh, personal projects as well as my commercial projects and creating this type of imagery over and over.